Now, I know uh, it would be so easy to not really think about anything else that's going on uh, with these Baltimore Ravens because so much of what we think about, what we talk about, uh, what's been going on, what's being talked about is everything with Lamar Jackson. But this kind of slipped through the cracks for me. Um, because I, when I saw it, I saw it online, I saw it on Twitter, and I was like, oh, that, that, that's just a rumor. That's just a rumor. That ain't got no validity to it. Even though the guy that was talking about it, he was like standing 10 toes down about it. He was like, no, this is real. I tried to tell y'all that this was real. And I was like, oh, I don't know who that is, so I can't really get too hyped about it. I saw some other people talking about it and whatnot, but I was like, oh, okay, whatever. But Jeff Zrebic confirmed it. And that was about the Ravens' interest in cornerback Darius Slay. Because if we remember Darius Slay, um, he obviously been with the Eagles for a little bit. Uh, but it was said that the Eagles were trying to come up with some kind of kind of contract extension with him or else they were going to release him. Then it was said that, OK, they were going to release Darius Slay. He was going to be a free agent. I was like, oh, wow. And I know some people even sent in some questions from subscribers. Oh, imagine Darius Slay and Marlon Humphrey opposite each other. And I was like, oh, yeah, that'd be nice. But at the same time, um, I didn't see the Ravens doing it. But then at the same time, I was like, but it is a defensive player. So, you know, how Ravens are when it comes to that. They will do do anything and everything for a defensive player but then um it, it ended up coming out that they weren't going to release him they it, it was announced that they were going to release him but then they came out oh no 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 we're not going to release him and then they came out with a contract uh agreement so he's remaining with the philadelphia eagles but i had seen this guy say oh ravens were all over that ravens were interested in that and again, I saw who it was from, and I was like, oh, I don't know who that is. Then I even saw some of the replies to his to his tweets and stuff, and people were like, oh, you keep taking all these shots. You better stop soon. And I was like, ooh, yikes. But apparently he was right. Let's read the, the, the part of the article from Jeff Zrebit. Um, he said, and let's be clear here, that the Ravens haven't signed any big ticket free agents doesn't mean they can't or won't. See, I like that part. And this is just an excerpt from the article from The Athletic. Shout out to Jeff Zrebik, by the way. But he, he let it be known. Like, it's not that they can't or, or it doesn't mean that they won't. So he's, he's basically saying, like, hey, if they want to sign some big name per people, a person, they can if they want to. They can make it happen. And that's the same thing we've been saying on here. Like, hey, if there's a way, if there's really a will, there's a way. There's a way. You can get creative with this stuff. man. If you want to make it happen, you can make it happen. But anyway, continuing, um, he said uh, there were signs that they had significant interest in cornerback Darius Slay when it appeared the Philadelphia Eagles were going to release him. Slay and the Eagles wound up working out an extension and the Ravens met a couple of days later with free agent Rock Yassin. A 26 year old starting cornerback like Yassin won't come all that cheap. Really, I felt like he would come cheap. Uh, definitely cheaper than Darius Slay. But anyway, that's um. When I saw that, I was like, "Whoa, whoa, really? That really?" And see, it, but it got me to thinking. Um, but I guess this can sort of give Ravens fans some hope when they hear about the Ravens being interested in a DeAndre Hopkins, Corlin Sutton, Odell Beckham Jr., or if all those. <laughs> Well, if all those guys are a smoke screen for somebody who they're really interested in. But anyway, um, I was like, wow. Uh, when this first came out, because this was before it was said that the Ravens were really in a DeAndre and all them like that. Um, I was thinking like, great. That would be cool. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Marlon Humphrey, uh, Darius. Ooh, nice. But where's this energy for offense? Where's this willingness for the offense? Where's this strategy for the offense? So specifically at the wide receiver position. Because it's been said by the Ravens directly, hey, you, you can never have enough corners. You can never have enough corners. And hey, we as Ravens fans, we know that because the Ravens could be prepared more than ever at the cornerback position. Like even last, the past couple of years, it happens every year. Ravens come prepare that cornerback. It's like, all right, hey, if we stay healthy, hey, we, we got a squad at cornerback, baby. Every year, usually. They, they like set. But then somebody gets hurt. And somebody else 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 gets hurt. It, it always ends up happening like that. But the fact is that they go into the season prepared at the position every time. And I love it. I love it. But... 
if you can never have enough corners, what are these cornerbacks' job? Who, who, who are they covering for their job? They're covering receivers. They got to guard receivers. So the fact that you know you can never have enough corners is because you, you know that receivers are important. But there's still been a lag there. And I, I know that you can't have every single thing and every single play and this and that and the third, da 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 da. But the, the way that the Ravens prepare at cornerback, I just wish they would prepare at receiver that same way. I really do. I wish they would prepare a receiver the same way. Because if, if the effort, that they put into the secondary, if they put that same effort into the receiver room, oh my goodness, it will be a beautiful thing. And again, this offseason, we're going to see. We're going to see because I didn't say, hey, I'm not confident in this whole thing. Again, the report came out. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. DeAndre Hopkins. Ooh, Dale Becker Jr. You call this side. I wish they would have thrown Mike Evans in that. Hey, like, and look, Ravens, look. I don't know if y'all watching this or not, but look. Be honest with y'all, man. I know y'all like smoke screens. I know y'all love smoke screens, man. And if this whole report about you checking out DeAndre and Odell and uh, Cortland, if this whole thing is a smoke screen and it's a smoke screen for uh, Mike Evans, I ain't gonna be mad. I, I, I will not be mad at all. I won't be mad. Hey, I, I will love it. I would love it because he, he would actually be my first choice over all of them, over all of them, even DeAndre Hopkins. Y'all know, know I love DeAndre Hopkins and really wanted them to get DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, still do, but Mike Evans would be my number one guy. It's like DeAndre Hopkins, Mike Evans, DeAndre Hopkins, like 1A1B. So this is a smoke screen. Hey, have at it. Just just close the deal. But um, anyway, I just... Uh, Hearing this about Darius Slay, um, it, it, it really makes you realize and understand like, hey, if the Ravens want to do this at wide receiver, if they want to make the investment at wide receiver, they can. They can. And not just via draft picks because they, they've done that. They've taken a bunch of little swings with draft picks. I, I said it in another video that um, with the Ravens and wide receiver. It's like, because we know they, they've, they've taken the shots at wide receiver via the draft. It's been obviously two first round picks, Hollywood and Bateman. It's been two third round picks, Miles Boykin, Devin DuVernay. It's been a fourth round pick, Tylen Wallace. It's been a fifth or sixth round pick and James Prochet. Um, am I missing anybody? I don't think so. Because whenever they've taken receivers, they've taken two every time. Because Hollywood and Boykin uh, was Bateman and... Was Bateman and Duvernay? No, it was Je Pro Duvernay and Prochet. Uh, then it was Bateman and Wallace. So there we go. All right, so six times. So, okay, hey. Nice shots, nice swinging for the fences and whatnot. But via the draft, it's like with Eric DaCosta, he's taking like these three-point shots from half court. Because, hey, some of them might go in. Some of them might, you might make some of them. But there's much, there's, there's a far less chance that those shots go in. There's a far less chance that he, he makes those. You still shooting though. Hey, so that's good. You're still taking a shot. But there have been plenty of layup opportunities that they, they just ain't going for. They just haven't. Um, and with a layup, it's more of a sure thing. You, could, you got the opportunity to miss a layup, but it's way less likely that you miss a layup versus a, a half court shot. So anyway, um, let's see. Let, let's see if Eric DaCosta with the receiver room, he ends up making a layup because I feel like DeAndre Hopkins will be a layup. Um, <clears throat> Odell Beckham Jr. I feel like Odell Beckham Jr. will be a free throw, depending on the in, with the injuries and stuff. Uh, Corlin Sutton. He had been a little banged up too. I really, all three of them dudes, they had been a little banged up. That's why Mike Evans, that's, that's why he would be my 1A because he'd been really healthy, man, for the most part. I mean, he did, he did. I think he missed a little bit of time last year, like a little bit maybe, but he'd been pretty healthy overall. 
Um, so with him, like, hey, I, I in what six four six five, and he could move, he could jump, physical, like man. But my only question: Who would be throwing him the ball? Though? That'd be the only thing that I, I just I don't know about. I don't know who would be tossing him the rock. Who would be throwing him the peel? I don't know whether that's, <laughs> that's gonna be Lamar. Or it's gonna be somebody else. That question. Um, <sighs> That's to be determined um, But We'll see how things go Anyway Team keep it clean I love y'all I appreciate y'all And hey Ravens tried for Darius Well they didn't try for Darius Slay But they were Seriously interested In Darius Slay um, So Again While that is Nice to know And I know for some Ravens fans That burns Like crazy It hurts Cause they're like Oh we could have that Darius Slay But It should Give you a little bit of hope when it comes to their next move, whatever the next move is going to be uh, at the wide receiver position. So will it be done? We'll see. Can it be done? Yes.